Hey everyone, this is Jonathan again, and I'd like to show you our basement. So coming down from the kitchen, I'll roll it briefly, here is the start of the banister. Again, what's unique about it is that it's solid maple, and we have wrought iron spindles that are decorative. Give you one shot of that, right there. Continuing on, down here, again, is through the hall of the house, is, this is actually solid maple doors. And we had a custom stain done because we want, liked darker woodwork, but I wanted uh, a nice high quality wood. On each door, which I probably should have mentioned earlier, is uh, actually uh, anthropology door handles. So just we like them because they had a vintage kind of old stock look. But the thing is they don't fit modern doors. So we actually uh, went around and found out that there's a company, MTech, which are, I know they're a higher quality um, handle company, actually had the guts, you know, for between the door. And so we modified them so they work with that. So it's kind of a kind of vintage uh, look, even though it's modern. Going into the theater room, um, one of the things I want to tell you is that uh, it's fully insulated all the way around. And it has, uh, I, I put two layers of sheetrock on there. And the reason why I did this is because I really wanted to keep the sound in. And yet still on the third level, be able to have your kids be able to sleep still while the bass is hitting and everything else. It does a very good job of that. Uh, you cannot hear it at all when you're upstairs. So when you come in, there's actually, let's see, maybe, if how the camera comes in, it's actually a step up there, which is about a nine inch step up. And there's a platform here to put your couch or whatever you want to do, two or three chairs. And on the back wall, as you can see, there is the projector. We have a, just a custom uh, wood holder for that up there that's fastened to the wall. You see the two rear speakers. The room itself is set up for 7.1 Dolby Digital, so uh, you can put your own speakers or whatever you like up there, but it goes all the way around. And then, um, as you can see here, there's the columns uh, that we did have built. They, I can't remember what type of stone, but it's, it's a real stone that's put on there. They go all the way up into solid wood rafters that come across the room. And um, there's an extra rafter on the very back there, and then there's one here, and then we have another column coming down this side, as you can see. And uh, it's a kind of a neat, real Italian, Tuscan looking feel. Now the walls, I don't know if you can see the texture, maybe you can, oh there it is. Uh, this actually is a natural clay that we did. It's actually more aggressive and, and way softer. It's, it's kind of hard to explain than what um, a Venetian plaster would be. Um, it, was a, it was a lot of work we put into it, but it's actually a, a natural green ingredient. And it kind of has a, a soft, kind of a sandy feel, even though it's hard enough that it stays on the wall. So it's actually true classic clay that's done on that. And then uh, once we jump up here on the um, on the step up here, we turn the camera around and you can see the, the front part of it. It's actually a hundred inch screen that's surrounded by velvet drapes. And again, you can see all the speakers there. Um, I have um, uh, def definitive technology here and they have built in subwoofers already, but you can do it if you want to. Actually, I have wired in, if you can see there in the corner there right behind the um, pillar, I have additional outlets and they have um, uh, spots for the subwoofer to plug in there on each side if you want to add two additional subs. That's all up to you. So then, um, that, that's pretty much the theater room. We have a little spot in the middle there. It's pretty decent sized. Uh, you can get quite a lot of people in here. And then, um, talking about the projector here, what I did is, before the room was built, I actually had PVC pipe ran from the back of this all the way to the entertainment tray. And the reason I did that is because if you ever wanted to change out technology like HDMI cable, hey, you can do it instead of being locked in. So let me close this. This actually is the whole entertainment area, as you can see. There's a refrigerator in that corner, a uh, popcorn machine that's built in, and upper storage up there. And if you're looking at that open spot right there in the middle, that actually is the candy tray. It holds, I think, three different types of candies across, and there's a lip on the bottom that makes sure that the boxes don't fall out. Uh, more storage there. We have a wine rack there. And uh, the top of this is actually the same as the kitchen, the same as our master bathroom, which is all Italian Carrera marble. Um, we were just in love with marble when we built this house in, two th in late 2006. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. But in, uh, in this, how I designed it was I actually had... Um, all of the plugins for like the speakers inside the theater room um, all come back and actually plug into this uh, monster power supply for a reason is I wanted really clean sound that's what they say for sound what you're supposed to do so the interesting thing is here is you can plug everything in here 
and uh, it's the 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 power is clean, and then it goes to the subwoofer so you don't get any feedback. I have my amp there, PlayStation. You can do Xbox, whatever you want there. It's all up to you. And then here uh, I have individual drawers that were um, custom built to be able to hold DVDs. So um, I have two two doors like this, so you can hold uh, hundreds, I'm sure, of DVDs here. And then the very top two drawers uh, basically just hold, um, as you can see, wires, controllers whatever you want, kind of like a junk drawer just for that. And then I have a, just a built-in top drawer with really nothing that holds my popcorn and then um, a, a dual bin uh, garbage there. And this is really just all storage that we have up here. Uh, we actually hold all of our games here. So anyway, built-in more storage. Last spot here, we go down the hallway and it goes into the downstairs bathroom. Um, the light is all from Restoration Hardware, so is the mirror, all polished nickel, uh, Kohler uh, pedestal sink, and that's a roll polished nickel uh, faucet there, uh, going to Kohler uh, toilet, polished nickel handle, and um, same thing here, that is, the, not that you care to know, but it's all Restoration Hardware is what we did. The reason I'm taking in the bathroom here is right behind the door. Um, here is actually, um, it's sheet rocked over, but it's meant to hold a tub, surround, shower, uh, whatever you choose to put in there. So you can turn this into an extra bedroom if you want to, and uh, you have a full bathroom right here. Um, and uh, that will lead us into the next area here you'll see in one second.